The building housing the Plantation Antique Mall will be rebuilt. Firemen estimate the loss at about $300,000 to $350,000. Many are responding to last night's fire as if it were a death in the family. The fire broke out at about 11 o'clock last night. Damage to the building and its contents were heavy. As cleanup began by the six dealers in the mall, friends and customers were arriving to express sympathy. We're, we're just sick. We really are. Anything in particular in there that, that was lost that, you know, might uh, make sadden you a little? Well, I think about the china, the beautiful crystal, things that just can't be reproduced anymore. The flames and smoke took a little of Mobile with them. This old gas chandelier dating back to 1870 lighted a dining room in an old Mobile home. How many family gatherings were held under its Waterford crystal? What many regarded as the finest collection of Haviland china in America was heavily hit. 20,000 pieces in all, the fire, smoke, and water got half of them. These chairs were made by cabinet maker John Belder in the mid-1840s. They were most often seen in southern plantation estates and antebellum homes, now only in museums. What's the price tag on their loss? This melodeon is identified with the early 1800s or Empire period. Pictured the happy face of a child whose father brought it as a gift from New Orleans. Who knows how many musical appetites were wedded here. All agreed that losses such as this knife box dating back to the late 1700s were like tearing a page out of a history book of Alabama and the South. Once it's gone, it's gone. And it's just something that can't be replaced. And that's all I can say is we're just really sick about it.